Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about properties of multiplication. We have the first one and that is commutative property of multiplication. It states that changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Examples, we have 2 times 3. What is the answer? 2 groups of 3 is equal to 6. As well as, we're going to change the order of the factors and we'll make it 3 times 2 or 3 groups of 2. The answer is still 6. Another example, 7 times 4 is equal to 28. We have also 4 times 7 or 4 groups of 7 is also 28. It simply means that the order of the factors does not change the product. Next is the associative property of multiplication. It states that changing the grouping of the factors does not change the product. Let's say for example, Quantity 5 times 4 times 3 is equal to 5 times quantity 4 times 3. Okay, we'll do the groupings first. 5 times 4 is equal to 20 times 3. 20 times 3 is equal to 60. How about in the other side of the equation? We'll do the groupings first. So we'll copy 5 then we'll multiply to the product of 4 and 3. The answer is 12. So 5 times 12 is equal to 60. So if you're going to take a look, you will arrive at the same answer. And that is 60. Uh, whether you're going to have different groupings. In the first here, we group 5 and 4. In the other side, we grouped 4 and 3. So we still arrive in the same answer, which is 60. Another one, we have identity property of multiplication. It states that any number multiplied to 1 is always equal to that number. The number 1 is the identity element. Examples, 12 times 1 is equal to 12. Another example is 895 times 1 is equal to 895. Next, 6450 times 1 is still equal to 6450. Next, zero property of multiplication. It states that any number multiplied to 0 is always equal to 0. Examples, 8 times 0 is equal to 0. 16 times 0 is equal to 0. 1,293 times 0 is equal to 0. It means any number multiplied to 0 is equal to 0. We have the last one, distributive property of multiplication over addition. It states that when a factor is given as a sum, multiplying each addend by the other factor before adding does not change the product. Example, we have 3 times the quantity 2 plus 4. How to solve this? We can do distributive 3 times 2 that will give us 3 times 2 plus 3 times 4. 3 times 4. Then, we can perform 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Then, we can already add 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. So, that's it. Or we can do this 3 times the quantity 2 plus 4. Then, we can just copy add 2 plus 4 that will give us 6 then multiply 3 times 6 is equal to 18 so we have the answer 18 
Another example, let's have 5 times the quantity 10 plus 1, okay? Equals, we can do distributive. You can write quantity 5 times 10 plus 5 times 1. You can write 5 times 1 equals, we can already multiply, 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Then, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. That will give us 55. That's it. Or we can write it, 5 times quantity 10 plus 1 is equal to, we will add first what's inside the parenthesis. That's 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Next, we will have 5 times 11 will give us product of 55. So, the same. Let's have some exercises. Find the missing number, then identify the property used. We'll be choosing from these properties, a commutative property of multiplication, associative property of multiplication, identity property of multiplication, zero property of multiplication, and distributive property of multiplication over addition. So, for the first question, we have 12 times 6 equals... 6 times blank. What should we write in the blank? The answer will be 12. What property of multiplication was used in this example? So we use commutative property. The order of the factors does not affect our product. Next is 1902 times 0 is equal to blank. Our answer is 0 because any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So our property used in this example is 0 property. Next is 88 times 1 is equal to blank. So what is our answer? It's 88. Any number multiplied to 1 is equal to that number. That is, what property? Identity property of multiplication. That's it. Another example. Quantity of 4 times 9 times 3 is equal to 4 times the quantity 9 times blank. So what should be the answer? It is... Three. And what property was used in this example? It is the grouping that is being changed but still will give you the same product. It means our answer is associative property of multiplication. Let's have another one. 12 times quantity 5 plus 6 is equal to quantity 12 times blank plus quantity 12 times 6. So what will be our answer? If you're going to inspect it, it seems that this number is being distributed. See? 12 times blank, then here 12 times 6. So our answer in the blank is 5. And the property was distributive property of multiplication over addition. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!